Hey guys, welcome back. Another video, it's been a little while, I'm sorry. Uh, today we're gonna be going over how to program a Baofeng UV5R. So if you guys are familiar with my videos, you guys will have seen that I recently got my ham radio license. I've been going through all those steps on my channel, so please, if you haven't, uh, have a look back. There's a playlist there with all of my ham radio videos in it so far. Uh, if you're interested in getting your ham radio license and you live in Canada, there's lots of information there uh, going over the exam and all that sort of stuff. But uh, today's video is going to be focusing on the Baofeng UV5R. Uh, this one here is actually, uh, let's get that guy in focus. Um, I've had this one for a little bit now. As you can see, I accidentally uh, uh, ripped the sticker off there that said uh, Baofeng. So uh, it looks a little used, but it works still just fine. Uh, and if you're like me, you ordered the radio and uh, you got it in your hot little hands once you po pulled it out of the box, and the first thing you heard was... Now, uh, I don't know if you could hear that, but uh, definitely was in English, and I don't know what it said. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and figure out how to program this guy today. So, like I said before, uh, you are going to need a couple of things to get started programming your Baofeng. Obviously, you need a Baofeng. The second thing you're going to need is a programming cable. So this isn't just any old cable. Uh, this particular one came with my unit. It actually says Baofeng on it, um, and it uh, has a USB on one side and then the other one to go into the uh, speaker and mic jack on the radio. So you need that, and obviously you need a laptop as well, um, but that's really all you need to get started as well as uh, a piece of software. So. Um, Let's get started. All right, guys, we are ready to go here. I got uh, my programming cable. I've got my radio, I've got my laptop. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we are going to install the software on the laptop that we need to program the radio. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you're wondering why my table is taped, I was doing some screen printing, so there's a little bit of a, uh, I was getting ready to make a mess. Um, but we are going to start by downloading the software required in, to program the radio. All right. So, we are going to start by downloading the program called Chirp. So I actually went and I uninstalled the one that I had installed just so that we could start fresh and uh, go from there. Um, so uh, I am going to download, oh, we'll go back to the main page here. Um, is this the main page? I'm not exactly sure. We'll go start fresh. Here we are. So uh, Linux, your Macs, your Windows, all the versions. Now, these are all the radios that Chirp can program. So Chirp is a, a program that can be universally used, uh, universally used for programming all of those radios. Uh, this one today, we're going to be talking about the UV5R, this guy here. So please bear with me. Uh, so first, we're going to download Chirp. Pretty straightforward. Hit the download button. We're going to download the latest Windows version because I'm running Windows 10 here. I'm going to go, uh, I'm just going to hit this Chirp Daily Installer, Windows Installer, and it uh, just takes a moment to download. I'm pretty crappy on the Wi-Fi section here, but it seemed to come pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. It's, you know, obviously this isn't a recognized piece of software by Windows. Uh, I'm going to run it anyway. Run the risks. Unknown publisher. Yeah, we like that. Next. I agree. I'm just going to install it into the factory location. Don't get at me if you install it to your Z drive or your network attached drive and it doesn't work. Please just put it somewhere normal. Uh, finish. There we go. Simple as that. So uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to pull up Chirp. If it doesn't automatically pop up, which it doesn't look like it's going to. Down to Chirp. Chirp. Yeah, pretty small program. Not, uh, not super big. Error reporting is enabled. Sure. Uh, so yeah, now here is uh, Chirp. This is what it looks like. Not a whole heck of a lot. Now, uh, what I'm going to do first is I am going to plug in my radio. So we're going to open this guy here. I'm going to plug the cord in. 
make sure it's very snug make sure it's all the way in this one's pretty tight so which it feels nice it's uh you know clicks in nice and firmly and then i'm going to or uh, plug the other one into my laptop usb obviously hear the little ding windows probably isn't going to know what to do with it so uh let's let's get going here move that camera just a little bit now i got my wireless mouse here if you're wondering what i'm touching um, so I'm going to turn the radio to the on position. Now it actually is going to show us on the screen, uh, what we need to do. So, uh, we're going to actually go to radio and we're going to click download from radio. Now, COM port three, that's just the one that came up there. Uh, I'm going to say this is a Baofeng and we're going to go UV five. And I think that, uh, UV five R there it is right there. UV five R. Okay, now here's the instructions. So turn radio off, connect the cable. We already did that, the radio's off. Connect the mic speaker cable, make sure it's firmly connected. I even said that, wow. Uh, turn radio on, volume may be, need to be set to 100%. So I'm gonna do that. Turn the radio all the way to 100%. Ensure that the radio is turned on to a channel with no activity. Now I've never seen these channels in my life and uh, there's nothing coming in, so I think we're good there. Okay. So now the radio is actually cloning. You can see there's a little light flashing there. That means it's cloning. Cloning. So it's pulling off the information that we have on the radio right now, pulling the stock configuration. And there we are. So um, it's got uh, a two meter call channel, it says on there, 136.025. That's not the... Uh, call channel here but uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're going to um, get some programming in here and uh, what we're gonna do first I'm just gonna leave that plugged in we're gonna put it off to the side uh, we're gonna go radio we're gonna go import from data source and we're gonna go repeater book and we're gonna go proximity query this is the easiest way that I've found to get the local repeaters in there so location I'm actually gonna type my city N-A-N-A-I-M-O, Nanaimo, British Columbia. Now distance, I'm just gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it open right now just to pull up as much as I can. Uh, and this is a, a two meter radio, so I'm just gonna click two meter uh, bands there, and we're gonna click OK. So here, look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, six repeaters within uh, within earshot of uh, Nanaimo or Nanaimo as it's as it's put in here and we can always add these later uh, add more to this later we can manually add some other channels and I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, but right now we're gonna start with these ones so we're gonna import all these different uh, frequencies We've got number one to six here it says this is where it's going one two three four so that's the channel that it's gonna be on on your radio the the number in which it'll be stored in so now we'll click OK Simple as that. Boom. It's already it's already in there. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to change this frequency here. Uh, 146.520. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go radio we're going to go upload to radio so it's still on let me show you it's still on there uh, nothing's being received nothing's happening we're going to click upload to radio com port 3 bofang uv5r it knows all that stuff already and click ok same instructions again you can click the not show the instructions i leave it on there because sometimes i forget to turn it on or forget whatever it just reminds you Okay, now, so now it's showing green because it's writing to the radio. So we get that flashing guy, and then it's going to automatically uh, restart as soon as it's done. So it doesn't take too long, just a moment. And obviously, the more channels you have in there, the longer it takes. But uh, we're just going to put these six in here just because it's the quickest and the easiest. Bam, look at that. So radio kicks itself on kicks itself off now this is in VFO there we go so now we can put it in our channel mode and we got oh uh, I didn't save that one whoops so I didn't save one of the, the first channel there but uh, um, yeah so all the other channels that I programmed in there are in there so we can go out oh and there was a channel 
that was programmed way down the end, I think, here. I didn't look at that, but there was. Yeah, there is actually another channel programmed down the end that was uh, already programmed into the radio that it saved in there. Um, but yeah, so now we have those uh, profiles in there. And uh, one more thing that's easy to do on the radio that I'm going to show you is we're going to go in through the radio. We're not going to adjust the squelch or anything like that. We're going to go, and I like to show on the top line, if you're showing the channel, I like to show the name of the channel, the programmed name as well, and then leave the bottom one to show the frequency. So we're going to go up here, and we are going to click. Where is it? Got to go through all these. I already went through. Where is it? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there it was there. So voice, first of all, we're going to actually change the voice. Now you can do this in Chirp as well, uh, but I'm going to show you on here. We don't want Chinese, we want English. Bam, there we go. Click menu again to save that option, go up back to the top option. Now we are going to, as I was saying before, okay, there we go. So this is the A channel, top line, B channel, bottom line. So I'm going to go to the A channel and I'm going to choose the name, not channel, name, there we go, go back. So now it shows me the repeater that I am now programmed to. And if I am also on channel one on the bottom, so you can obviously uh, set to receive, there's two two channels here, so we can uh, you know receive on either one of those. Um, so yeah, there we go. And now you can, if you want to know what frequency it is, you know, you can go to that. And then if you want to know what call sign it is, go to that one. So it's kind of, kind of helpful if you're, uh, you know, a novice to the area and you don't know all the information off by heart. Um, uh, but that is how you program. Oh, Hey, that is how you program a Baofeng radio. It appears there's uh, something going on on that channel currently, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, here we, uh, here we are. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for going through the programming of the Baofeng with me. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. It only took a few minutes, and uh, yeah, it, now you got that software in there. Um, what I do is I actually will slowly add to that list. You know, if there's a repeater that's got some interference on it that's that's way too much, I will you know just take that off the list if it's not uh, being used or or like I said, if it's got too much interference going on or uh, something else is you know not to my liking. Um, you can add other channels in there. You can add other repeaters for other areas if you frequently visit other areas. Uh, Lots of stuff to do. Um, if you'd like me to make for more videos on programming uh, the Baofeng in different aspects, please leave a comment below. Uh, let me know. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And uh, like I said, if you have any other ideas of things you want to see on the channel, please leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, that's the only way I uh, I can I can get I well not the only way I can get ideas, but uh, you know it definitely helps me get uh, ideas of what you guys want to see. Um, again. I am new to this, so please bear with me on uh, on this. I might not be 100% accurate, but I'm going to help you as much as I can. Um, if you'd like to support me, please uh, go to my website, Daryl's Deco Co. I actually uh, screen print t-shirts. I got this uh, new Cherokee one here. I also got a few uh, hoodies left. You can see there's a little Daryl's Deco Co. logo right there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button, and we'll see you later. Thanks.